right, guys, so here we have a problem dealing with geometric probability. And in this particular problem, we have a circle inscribed within a square. Now, this is more of an advanced math problem, something you would see on maybe the SATs, okay, or something in that nature. Um, so let's get into how we're going to solve this. Now, the question's asking the probability of throwing a dart in a shaded area. Now, I haven't shaded that area yet, but they're talking about, okay, this area, okay, outside of the circle. So they want to know the probability, if you were to throw a dart, okay, what would the probability be of landing in this shaded area, okay? So before we get into this, let's first talk about what we need to find, right? So when we're talking about the probability, it's going to be out of something, right? So what we need to essentially do here is find the area, okay, of this shaded region, right? And that's going to be out of the total area. So in this case, the area of our shaded region out of the total area, which is going to be the area of the square, okay, that will give us our probability. Now, how do we go about finding the area of this shaded region? Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and have to write it out. So let's start writing in some information here. We know that we're dealing with a square, right? So we can call this S and S because we know that all the sides will be equal. And I know that when I multiply both sides, that will give me the area of the square. So I can, what I can say here is area of the square is going to be S squared, right? How about the area of the circle? Well, we know an area of the circle is going to be, right, pi r squared. Pi r squared. Now, when you're dealing with these problems, you want to try to get your variables all the same. So for example, I'm dealing with S here, and then I have an R. So I want to write that R, that radius, in terms of S. That way, at the end, those variables will cancel out, right? So think about this. If I have a radius here on my circle, right? Well, how could I write this in terms of S? Well, it's going to be, right, S divided by 2, right? Because it's half the side. So what we can say here, we can rewrite area of circle is going to be pi, and then our radius here is s over 2 squared, right? And then just cleaning this up, okay, we'll have the following. We'll have s squared, right, pi all over 4. Now at this point, okay, we have the area of the circle, we have the area of the square, so if I do the area of the square minus the area of the circle, that will give me this area of that shaded region. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, area of square minus area of circle is going to give you area of the shaded region. So area of shaded region. Okay. So let's go ahead and set that up. So when we do that, we're going to have S squared minus, right here, our area of the circle, S squared pi all over 4. Now we need a common denominator here. So an easy way to do that, like we've always been doing, right? Well, we know this is really over 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay. So what did I multiply this by in order to get 4? Well, I multiplied by 4. So 4 times S squared is 4 squared. Okay, same thing. What did I multiply this by in order to get 4? I multiplied by 1. So 1 times s squared pi is just s squared pi. So minus s squared pi. Okay, so this right here is the area of the shaded region right here. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to take this, okay, and we want to divide by the total area. In this case, S squared, that's our total area, right? And that will give us our probability, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So rewriting this guy, we're going to have 4 S squared minus S squared pi all over 4. And here we want to divide by, right, our total area, which is going to be S squared, right? Again, that's going to be the total area of the square. Okay, and when we do this, we get the following. We get 4 s squared minus s squared pi, okay, all over 
four s squared. Okay. All right. So at this point, okay, since we have one denominator here, right, and we have two terms, we can break this up. So we can rewrite this guy the following way. We can write this as four s squared all over. 4s squared, okay, minus s squared pi, right, all over 4s squared. And again, I can do this because the two terms up top are sharing the same denominator. All right, so look what happens here. Our s squared simply cancels. s squared here cancels. And what are we left with? Well, 4 divided by 4 is going to be 1, okay, minus pi over 4, okay? So when we do this operation out in our calculator, we get the following. So if we do 1 minus pi over 4, okay, we're going to get the following number. We get 0.2, which is going to equal 0.2146, okay? Or in other words, 21.46%, okay? So if you were to throw a dart randomly, at this board, right, you have a 21.46, okay, percent chance of landing in this shaded region. Okay, and that is it.